if you are into tech or programming chances are very high that you know the term json sometime json depends it is widely used text data to exchange information between two devices over internet or other medium of communication whether you talk about api responses tax information communication between two programming languages setting up preferences in the software or web app stock data crypto and the list is infinitely large and they uses json format to store and transmit information raw json data is hard to read for us humans but when we format the data using already available tools such as notepad++ which is an open source text editor reading data become much much more easier let's look at the same data side by side both are in json format and both are the same data the data appearing on the left side which is in the raw format looks very clumsy and you will get easily intimidated by it however when you look toward the right the same data appears to give lot more sense after applying a simple formatting in just two steps so the left data is a raw format raw json format and towards the right is well formatted json data hello everyone and welcome to ai python in this video i will help you to format and visualize any json data in much cleaner way using notepad++ editor You will quickly learn what is JSON data and how you can quickly format the JSON data using a simple Notepad++ plugin available at free of cost. In case you want to learn more about Notepad++ and you wanted to know how you can write, edit and execute Python code in Notepad++ then check out the video link displayed in the card shown at the top right corner. So let's get started with the main topic. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. This is basically a text format, not a programming language, but the name itself says JavaScript, it, which is a programming language. Actually, it is derived from the JavaScript object. That's why the name has JavaScript Object Notation, right? But it is not related to any programming language. Every programming language knows about JSON, right? Let's see some of the quick feature of JSON, which is making it more popular, right? It is a lightweight data interchange format. Lightweight means overhead of the data is very less so that it can be exchanged between the two devices having lower bandwidth as well. It is basically collection of name and value pair. Uh, it is similar to the dictionary but the, the format is little bit different. Easy for both human and machine to parse basically the read to read the information. It is a text format that is completely language independent. although it has a javascript name but don't associate json only with javascript every programming language can easily understand and interpret json data so let's see what are the values that are included that can be included in the json format it could be object which is under the curly braces i'll just show you one of the example which where you will understand how the json format looks like it can contain array which is list in python numbers strings boolean value true and false and even the null value or empty value right okay so let's see some of the example or basically how the data in json format look like this is one of the example uh, where you will see that the programming language i'm trying to transmit this information from one device to other device or just want to store the information all the json data are enclosed within this curly braces so this is the super important thing right the first thing it should be within the curly braces all the data as you have probably guessed it uh, this is the key and these are the value i have given a color combination so that it is easy for you to interpret however you will not get this kind of color on the programming language ide or maybe editor but just for your simplicity i had made it so that you understand which sections belong to which part of this data right so the first one is like programming language which is the heading of this json file which contains a list right and in this list there could be a lot of json object like for example this under the green braces there exist a name which is a key and then python is a value choice is again a key and one is value right everything will be separated by comma right similar to the first value second value and the third value right and then closing of this a list or array 
and then the final closing of json similarly there is another data little bit complex but not so complex where the main heading for the json is movie data and inside there falls a region inside the region there are hollywood bollywood and it could be anything and then uh, inside the hollywood or any key there could be one or more value in this case it is a list which is having only one uh, json object but it can be extended by putting comma and you can have n numbers of uh, object inside this hollywood and even this bollywood right so this is how the data are stored in json format these are the formatted data right and you will generally not get the data in this format now we will understand how you can use notepad plus plus to view the data in this format that you are having right now on the screen right so let's quickly go to that section so i'm having a sample json data stored in this file right and i would like to show you how this json data looks when you open this in a browser when you open it in a browser this looks very clumsy right <laughs> even you will not able to understand what is there until you pay a lot of attention to it right now if i open the same thing in notepad++ right you will see it also looks like a like a lot of information the single line you can scroll through till the end they will not understand now there's a very quick method where you can able to format this data in a most understandable manner using a plugin available in notepad++ so you can go to the plugin this is basically a plugin admin where you can install where you can search for various plugin all are free you can search them and find out in this case i'll be using json viewer so json viewer is a plugin which help you to format the json data into a meaningful inf information so that the data remains same but it looks in a nicer way so that it can be easily interpreted so i'll click on the json viewer and go ahead and install it this will take barely a 5 second and then it will install it it will open up notepad++ now you load the same data and then go to plugin go to json viewer and then click on format json as soon as you click you will see the whole data appears on your screen in a formatted way it is much much more cleaner way right this is one of the information about the income tax where when you file income tax in india it will generate a json format if you have not tried just try it out on the portal itself on the new portal itself whenever you file the inform whenever you enter the information you will see uh, download json so when you download this data this json format will the data will be downloaded in json format and you can view it later on right you can also use uh, there is an option in the plugin which is called uh, show json viewer and this will open up a, basically the tree structure of this file in a format which is uh, available in the separate window and you can navigate it like this and you can see that how the structure has been made the, the json file has the name itr in the itr there is one key which is called itr1 and inside itr there are a lot of information right this is the nested way of storing the data in json format and using this plugin you can format any data and this looks pretty much easy for you to understand and you can grab the information much more easier also you can collapse or expand the tree so that uh, in case if you want to visualize it in more cleaner way just you can you can do all those things right you can close this one individually right and the data will be like this and now this basically will coincide with the data available in the tree structure right so this creation info is available here form itr1 is available here and you can expand this form itr1 you to see all the data inside it and as you can see here the data are available in the same structure that i discussed previously right that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new in this video please help us by sharing this video in your network we read each comment and reply them in case if you have any doubt related to this video then do write them in the comment section we will reply see you next time with another exciting and informative content i'll be preparing the next video for you till then keep learning and keep growing